Okay, so below is a scatter plot showing the relationship between obesity rates for 1990 and 2010 for 26 countries listed in a data sample. So we're going to do a little bit of this in our next topic where this is actually a scatter plot. And what they're going to do, and we will do all the, the other stuff with it, but what happens is they get an, we will create an equation to represent the relationship that's going on between these two things. So if you have a look, here's the equation that they're giving you. So they can predict the obesity rate in 2010 by using this equation here. Now, so you can see that can you see this is like obviously like our y-axis and this is our x-axis and here's our formula where we've got y equals a plus bx okay so there's the formula but they're using all the variable names so just for those people new to the class a is like remember a straight line is normally this pattern yeah we know now in just in general maths we no longer call it use the letter m we use the letter b for that so the slope so can you see there is the b value and it's still the same thing so still the gradient the slope and instead of using oh sorry instead of using the the c the letter c they're actually using the letter we use the letter a okay so that's the difference but they're still the same thing so the a is the y-intercept so a is the y-intercept and b is we use the word slope a little bit more than we do gradient but it's the same thing okay so all right so now they're asking us this is equation so here's a few questions we've got being given what is the y-intercept so the a value so we just need to read off this and we just say 8.1. Now, because the BC rate was measured in percentage, we'll just say 8.1%. What is the slope? So what's the slope? What's the B value there? We just write 0.93. That's fine. Now, they want us to draw this line. So really what they want me to draw this equation on the graph um, 9.3 x so they want me to draw this straight line up on this graph here okay so the first thing we might what well, we've been doing is we might um, get the y-intercept which is the a value so we can see the a value is 8.1 we'll just double check that this axis is zero which it is so you can go up and you're going to mark your first point of 8.1 so i'm going to say roughly there so i'll just change that all right so here there so i'm saying that zero eight point one Okay, now I need another point so I can draw this straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 30 and pop it into the um, formula. Because this 30 is like when x equals 30. So when x equals 30, I'd have um, y equals 8.1 plus 0 0.93 times 30. Okay, so we'll do that on our calculator. Okay, so I get 36 yeah so you go up here i'm going to say roughly 36 as long as you're in the rough estimate and just to double clear we'll write that a point down so we said when a um x is 30 y is 36 then you grab your ruler and you join those two crosses together okay and there you go, you've got, you've drawn that equation on that line. So this is big in year 12. You're going to have to do this a lot so that we're going to practice this. So just quickly, because it's zero, you can say like we, um, we subbed in X equals zero there. So really we said Y equals 8.1 plus 0 0.93 times zero and you'll get 8.1. Okay, so let's do this another one. So we have um, an evening congestion level um, and it's getting determined 
by the morning congestion levels. So this is still going to call us our y, this is still our x. So if you look here on this equation, we've got y equals, there's my a value, there's my b value, and that's my x. So really, the equation, if we're just using x and y, would look like this, plus 0 0.92 to times x okay but obviously it's important to use the variable names and that's why they're doing that okay so what is the y-intercept in this case we can see it's the 8.48 and it was percentage again that was the units they were talking about they're talking about percentage I think this is traffic congestion um, what is the slope so they're just checking that I can read off those values which I can and now it's once again we need to draw this line onto this graph now this is where we need to be careful because this is not the y-intercept see they're starting the graph at 35 down there so what you're gonna have to do is you have to sub x equals 35 into the formula to find out what the point is so a point, it'll be, it'll be 8.48 plus 0 0.922 times 35. So I'll do All right, so I get that to be 40.75. So up along this line, along here, this is when x equals 35, I get 40.75. So it's roughly there, okay? So I'm drawing it around on the 40. Um, nearly on the 42 okay so then I need two points to draw that um, line so I'm then gonna do the same thing but using the 70 so 0 0.922 times 70 so I put that into my calculator so I got that one to be 73 0.02 so I go up here to 70 1 2 3 there's my other point. So I might write those points down. So I had 3541 or something. And then I had a 70, 73. There you go. And then you get your ruler and you join your two crosses. And there you've drawn that equation on the scatter plot.